Assalamualaikum. I am Dr. Varis. Welcome you all in healthcare with Dr. Varis. Today, the we as we have chosen topic for you is whooping cough produces a hundred day disease cough. These are all names of the whooping cough. In this disease, there is one whoop like one croup which when will any child coughs. So it will appear in our sound of that that cough. So it is caused by Bordetella pertussis bacteria. This disease affect mostly to children and adults also. In this disease, and redness in eyes also and canthus of eyes also seen in this disease. And at first, this disease is also same as when runny nose and coughs and fever also, but it may persist and it lasts up to hundred days. This so this is also called hundred days cough, and mostly it can be resolved and treated within fourteen days. Strong antibiotics can be given. and then it is will be treated and this is very highly contagious disease and uh, this we can affect and spread uh, to one to one person to another through droplet infection through sneezing coughing and uh, those children who are sharing in the same room and one per uh, children can affect and other children also so do we, we have to as uh, keep uh, separate those children which are uh, sharing this uh, same room and this uh, disease can be prevented uh, by uh, giving uh, uh, their vaccination against them uh, which is uh, also given uh, during their first year of life uh, to the children and this uh, is the pentavalent injection when this uh, five injections or uh, five vaccines are can be given to that child and if this course has been done uh, completely then uh, it uh, less likely affect uh, those children if uh, the, these children uh, vaccines are not been given to those children they are more more likely to lead to pre of that uh, disease uh, so um, on coming on the uh, treatment uh, this um, the macrolides group is very Effective in this situation, and the macrolides include azithromycin and clarithromycin, erythromycin. These two course can be given up to 14 days, and then it will be cured. Most people think that this disease cannot be cured, so medicines are being avoided in this situation. But it is not true. Then it can be cured uh, through antibiotics, uh, and the proper dose of these antibiotics can be given. Then the children and can or adults can be cured. Uh, so this is all about uh, opening up our pertussis. And next time, inshallah, we will uh, be with you in another disease. Uh, so kindly take care and Allah Hafiz.